Diddy hired Keefy D to take out Tupac, and guess what? A million dollar bounty was on the line. This isn't just another rumor, it's a bombshell that could change everything we thought we knew about the East Coast West Coast rivalry. So, what really went down in the shadows of hip hop's most infamous feud? And what does this mean for Diddy moving forward? Do you feel like Puffy owe you? Yeah, he should. I think he should look out. He look out for everybody fucking else. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I seen he brought that dude, what's his name? His name the dude uh drink club the dude from drink club oh you talking about nori noriega yeah he brought him a, um, what he bought him a Maybach truck uh, yeah 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 i think he put i think yeah i think he should look out you know what i'm saying he he worth a billion dollars he should come look out come build a build a basketball gym at our partners do something you know what i'm saying do something for us dog 27 years for 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur has been waiting for justice. We are here today to announce the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis, a.k.a. Keefy D, for the murder of Tupac Shakur. Diddy and Pac. It's another intense day for Diddy because credible sources have just revealed that federal agents investigating his current charges are collaborating with the prosecutors involved in the Tupac Shakur case. They're trying to link Diddy to Keefy D and figure out a motive for his possible involvement in Tupac's tragic demise. Adding to the drama, Tupac's family has recently brought on lawyers and private investigators to dig into Diddy's connection. It's clear there's a lot of movement happening, and we can expect some big news to drop soon. Now, it was this documentary that claimed, which we know wasn't true yeah yeah check this out we don't we don't talk about things that are nonsense we don't even entertain nonsense my brother so we're not even going to even go there with all due respect but i appreciate you as a journalist asking <laughs> thank you because you listen seven years ago i'd have been like yo did you hire somebody to kill Pac? but no you do it like a journalist yeah yeah no i mean we wouldn't even get into nonsense like that you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's nonsense. Which we never believed, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Keefy D, the self-admitted gang kingpin from L.A., is currently the only one facing charges for Tupac's assassination back in September 1996. But that might change, as Diddy has been named 77 times in documents from the prosecutors opposing Keefy's bail. Reports say that the federal investigators who put Diddy behind bars are sharing intel with the L.A. prosecutors to uncover potential links between Diddy and Tupac's case. An insider disclosed that federal authorities have been gathering information from the Vegas prosecutors about broader allegations and connections to organized crime, looking into anyone who might have had a motive to target Tupac. Initially, sources indicated that the DA's office wouldn't claim Diddy was part of this case just yet. Their focus was on building a strong argument to convince a jury that Keefe was the mastermind. However, things have shifted, and now the feds are working to piece together how Diddy fits into all this. The feds are honing in on Diddy's recent activities, knowing that Vegas has been compiling information on the Tupac case and interviewing multiple witnesses over the past few years. Their efforts, which include pulling together almost three decades worth of files on Keefe and his criminal ties, represent the most comprehensive investigation into Tupac's death so far. This collaboration is also making it easier for the feds to access crucial documents. They're well aware of who Metro investigators have talked to and might even have leads on Diddy already. Retired head of the LA field office, Phil Carson, mentioned to the Daily Mail that he suspected Keefe might flip on Diddy to save himself. He pointed out that the old days of silence in the mafia are over. Nowadays, once someone is in handcuffs, they might betray anyone to cut a deal. With Keefe now in custody, things are shifting, and he could start revealing information to protect himself. Given his history and connections, he has a lot of stories to share about how things were run back in the day. So, it's possible he could start dishing out info he's kept quiet about in a bid to save himself. While it's uncertain, certain if this is why federal law enforcement executed search warrants at Diddy's home. The evidence that led to those warrants must be substantial. Or what would you be comfortable um, having to present a case against Puffy? With all the information that we know today, what would you need, um, in your professional opinion, to actually try to pursue him? Well, if, if the claims that Keefe D made about the solicitation, the multiple solicitations, happened, and, and I believe there were conversations, but if those things were a true bona fide solicitation for murder, then you're going to need some really strong, credible, corroborating witnesses. You're going to need people that said, 
I was there when a financial transaction took place and it was very clear what that money was for. I was there when the agreement was made. I spoke with Puff about it and he told me that he'd hired these guys. You know, you're going to need some really strong, credible witnesses to support. Remember, Greg Kading, a former LAPD detective who looked into Tupac's case back in 2008 to 2009, has previously stated that Keefe provided his nephew with the gun used against Tupac. They set out with the intention to target him, and if you've seen Kading's documentary, you know he discussed Diddy allegedly placing a million dollar hit on both Tupac and Suge Knight during their infamous beef involving Biggie, hiring Keefe to carry it out. Plans took a sudden turn when Keefe D and his crew ended up approaching Tupac's car from the wrong side, leading to Keefe's nephew being the one to carry out the hit. In a documentary, Keefe claimed that Faith Evans, Biggie's wife at the time, was allegedly aware of Diddy's plot against Tupac. He even said he reached out to both Diddy and Faith to inform them they were responsible for Tupac's death. However, the detective clarified that Biggie had no involvement in Tupac's murder despite their well-known feud. He had no idea about Diddy's intentions to take out both Tupac and Suga Knight. When asked about his belief in Keefe story, the detective told the Daily News that Keefe comes off as genuine and credible, as if he's recounting events from first-hand experience. The fluidity of his narrative convinced them of its truth. For instance, Keefe knew about a secondary witness that investigators had kept under wraps, but Keefe has also implicated himself in Tupac's murder. During a Vlad TV interview, he went into detail about that fateful night. This game, and shit. I ain't gonna go into details like that, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, you got it in a book, you you didn't play it everything else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keefe confirmed he was in the white Cadillac that pulled up next to Tupac's vehicle, from which shots were fired at him. This isn't the first time he's made such claims. He mentioned being in that car in his memoir, Compton Street Legends. In his Vlad TV interview, Keefe said the hit was a million dollar job paid for by a well-known hip-hop artist, gang member Eric Von Zip, though he never named the artist. Puffy gave Zip a million dollars that was supposed to be handed over, and Zip ended up keeping it. And I remember when I interviewed T.K. Kirkland, who was actually roommates with Zip at one point, they were that close, he actually said, yeah. The fans said, said that too. He said, the and, and he, said, and he said he's a dirty Yeah, he, and he even that. said that like in retrospect, that was probably the best thing that could have ever happened to Puffy by Zip stealing the money now Puffy isn't connected to that shit, or else it would have been like a murder for hire or something. You know what I'm saying? Not the FBI said it was just, uh, so the FBI told you the same thing. Dirty. However, he has hinted in the past that it was Diddy. These points have surfaced in court, and with the case expanding, Tupac's family is now seeking justice. Tupac's brother, Moprim Shakur, stated that anyone Keefe has implicated in relation to Tupac should be held accountable. He recounted that Diddy reached out to him, claiming he had nothing to do with it, but Moprim wasn't sure if Diddy was sincere or just trying to cover his tracks. What's your initial reaction to Keefe D being arrested? It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet for a, a, a number of reasons. Uh, the, the time, of course, 27 years, mm -hmm. and um, it didn't have to be this way. You know, it didn't have to happen yeah. at all. You know, I hate yeah, you even have to live with the reality that uh, my yeah. brother's not here. Exactly. You know, so. So, what does justice look like for you and your family? I mean, uh, justice is uh, accountability. That's the, the, the sweet part. It's, it's bittersweet, but, uh, you know, some form of accountability and um, brace. I'm bracing for, because it ain't over. Um, you know, we have yet to see, you know, we still got to see if there's accomplices. Uh, and we still got to see the motive. Has the Vegas PD been in contact with you and your family at all during this investigation? Finally, yeah. Just now, or did they let you know? Just, just, just recently, just recently. Okay. But the detective that did reach out, he has since retired. So, okay. you know, that seems to be so, a pattern in Pac's case. Okay, did, but, so you know. did you know that KPD was going to be arrested today uh no keep your popcorn we're still waiting for for things to unfold um the universe is working Pac is still Pac is still here after keefe's arrest and his resurfaced interview mentioning diddy moprim thought it was time to dig deeper he indicated that there are individuals keefe might have called accomplices 
suggesting that someone needs to take responsibility. Pressure is mounting from all sides. It feels like Tupac is finally being vindicated. When things went down back in the day, many viewed Tupac as paranoid, but he may have been onto something. Tupac's family has hired attorneys to ensure that if any evidence ties Diddy to the case, it will be discovered. Sources close to the family report that they've retained lawyers Alex S.P.O. and Christopher Claw, along with a team of investigators, to explore Keefe's allegations that Diddy offered him money for the hit back in the 90s. The family believes there might be truth to this claim, and their legal team is determined to track down any evidence that can support it. They plan to investigate all leads thoroughly. If they uncover any material implicating Diddy and wrongdoing, it will be forwarded to the appropriate authorities for potential criminal charges. If nothing comes of the criminal investigation, Tupac's family might consider filing a wrongful death lawsuit, depending on the evidence they find. The pressure on Diddy is intensified from all directions. Eminem continues to assert his belief that Diddy played a role in both Biggie's and Tupac's deaths. On his recent track, Fuel Shady Edition, part of the The Death of Slim Shady Expanded, Eminem reiterated his suspicions about Diddy's involvement in these deaths. He made it clear that these thoughts are still very much in his mind, rapping about the impact of Tupac's death on Biggie's fate. Puff till he's in police handcuffs, guilty. Will he step up like G never turned himself in? Who knows? With federal agents currently investigating Diddy collaborating with prosecutors on Tupac's case, we have a feeling they might have something solid on it. Diddy's case. As for Diddy, he's not in a good spot now, neither physically or mentally. Diddy is overshadowed by the serious allegations against him. The phrase bad boy for life resonates ominously given the gravity of the charges he now faces. Diddy is currently facing serious allegations including racketeering, which encompasses criminal enterprises masked as legitimate business operations, and trafficking via deceit, coercion, force. This involves the illegal transportation of individuals, exploitation. The indictment suggests a clear case against him, with authorities recently denying his request for bail, even after he proposed a staggering $50 million for his release. This level of desperation indicates significant concerns about his character, as he attempted to assure the court of his non-flight risk by suggesting conditions like wearing an ankle monitor and engaging personal security. However, the authorities remain skeptical, fearing that releasing him could endanger witnesses involved in the case, as he has a well-documented history of manipulative and threatening behavior. This troubling pattern was foreshadowed in a 1999 interview where he acknowledged the likelihood of future legal troubles related to his lifestyle. Your parties are the hottest ticket around. They won't even give me a permit for the parties, man. They don't want me to throw the parties no more. But we, we ain't gonna stop, we gonna keep on having fun, bringing people together from all walks of life. You gonna hear about my party, they're gonna be shutting them down, they're gonna probably be arresting me, doing all types of crazy things just cause we wanna have a good time. You know, whenever you bring up a different element into people's environment, things that broaden people's horizon, people get intimidated. There's a lot of people out there that feel intimidated by it. It ain't nothing but, but, but break it down racial barriers, break it down generation barriers, people from all walks of life. Ron Perlman talking to Jay-Z, Jay-Z talking to, you know what I'm saying? It just goes on and on, you know, it's just, it's just like people from all walks of life connecting and getting together. Yeah. Your parties are the hottest ticket in town, people mm -hmm. dying to get into your party. How does that make you feel? I mean, it's cool, you know, it doesn't make me feel any way special, it doesn't make me feel like a bigger person, it just... It just makes me feel like I know how to throw a party. The indictment shows how Diddy exploited his business resources to facilitate unlawful activities, referred to ominously as his freak-offs. The array of charges includes trafficking, forced labor, and drug-related offenses, among others. Such behavior reflects a disturbing trend where individuals in positions of power may engage in increasingly reckless and harmful actions. Witnesses have reported that Diddy pushed women into situations they would not normally consider, often using intimidation or the promise of relationships relationships as leverage. His methods reportedly involved orchestrating encounters with hired male where he would direct the activities while recording them, a practice described as shockingly juvenile and depraved. The violation I have experienced during the assault has had lasting effect on my body, causing ongoing health problems and complications. The combination of physical and emotional pain has created a cycle of suffering from which it is so hard to break free. I want to continue on this journey towards recovery and healing. 
I'm glad that he is locked up, but that's a temporary feeling of relief. The operations associated with these events were described as being meticulously organized, almost military in precision. Reports indicate that Diddy's crew would secure hotel accommodations stocked with illicit supplies, ensuring that everything from cash payments to IV fluids for recovery were readily available. Alarmingly, the authorities discovered an extensive stockpile of baby oil at his residence, raising questions about the extent and nature of these gatherings. A thousand baby oil bottles, to be precise. Victims of Diddy's alleged crimes describe a chilling atmosphere of control and intimidation. He would physically abuse them and threaten their careers, often holding damaging footage over their heads to ensure compliance. The case has drawn significant attention, particularly due to the involvement of high-profile individuals in the music industry, and it raises grave concerns about the systemic issues of power and abuse. Key evidence includes security footage showing an altercation with Cassie, highlighting the physical violence she endured. Witnesses have recounted Diddy's attempts to manipulate hotel staff to cover up his actions. The testimony of former associates and victims paints a harrowing picture of a man who has consistently evaded accountability for his actions, despite numerous allegations spanning his career. As the investigation unfolds, it appears that Diddy's behavior may just be the tip of the iceberg. His connections with other prominent figures in the industry further complicate the narrative, leading to questions about the environment in which he operated and the potential for further revelations about his conduct.